Henry with uh, 27 goals, 459 points in a wonderful career, and that's a, a very positive start for him. And Kilkenny are over it, breaking it down, but there's nobody into it immediately. Galway trying to work hard, trying to get the possession, finally winning it. Joe Canning back there. Struck this time by Andy Smith and over the bar. Being that Damien Hayes has moved into the inside forward line just to try and help James Regan here, trying to get it up onto his stick, pursued by Brian Hogan. It's Regan off as far as Canning, looking for latitude. He's made a lot of ground. He's scored a wonderful goal. How did he do that? It's brought the uh, stadium to life. Ten minutes are gone, and Joe Canning has hit in his 16th ever championship goal. And Joe Hardy goal, a great run by James Regan. But look at this after with Joe Canning. Brilliant touch, great vision, and buried in the back of the net. What a Teherity, about to be challenged here by Niall Burke. Stands his ground, gets it out as far as Brian Hogan. Into the middle of the field, intended there for Richie Hogan, but it's cut out instead by Joe Canning. He moved from full forward into midfield, and he's got another one. A score, a point by Joe Canning. A goal and a point now. As far as Aidan forward, he haven't seen much of him so far. Nicely out as far as Richie Hogan. Here's a chance of a score from the angle. Richie Hogan puts it over the bar. And that'll do Kilkenny a lot of good. It's their first point to come from open play. And it's taking... This will be a first point at free by Joe Canning if he gets it. And he does from some 25 metres out. Could hardly miss. Over them at the moment. And that is another one for Joe Canning. Just their tactics are working out brilliantly so far. From this fuck out. Again, it's caught superbly by Niall Burke. What a start to the match he's after making. Brilliant play by Niall Burke. And he's staying there himself. That's two frees now, very difficult ones, but on his day he can score, and he also missed one from play, so God could be further ahead. Reid has done well here. 45 metres out, swinging around, and that's a beautiful score by TJ Reid to settle Kilkenny. And this one's about 30 metres out. Shouldn't be any trouble, and isn't. And everything going to flat. Look at the eagerness with which Andy Smith went after that to get there ahead of Michael Fennelly, who was expected to exert a big physical influence in midfield, and it hasn't materialised so far. What has materialised is that Galway are setting up chances. Smith again. This time it's Niall Donoghue, and Donoghue hits a beauty! First ever time to score! Panel will be at the Victor's Hotel. But which hotel will it be? Will it be the Galway Hotel? Will it be Kilkenny's? 9.30, Sunday Gay. Right now, it's Kilkenny who are trying to work themselves back into it with Owen Larkin. Lovely, stylish play. Eased his way into the shot there. Got the put try and uh, claw back in the second 35 minutes. Well, they don't want it, Jeremy, they no the choice bar. because Galway are just dominating this game lately. And that one is uh, inside the right hand upright and a second point. Well, they got it. And Henry Shufflin, who's always been a winner. And wants to be over the ball at all. He went straight. I don't know how serious the, the, the contact was, but it was definitely a, a yellow card. So in added time, it's Henry Shefflin ready to repeat his party. Difficult angle. He's faced some very difficult angles in this match with his freeze so far. Now can he measure this one and put it inside the right hand upright? He's got it right. And that's for a goal earlier on from uh, a free around 20 metres out. This time he's quite content to put it over the bar. Fifth pointed free for him. This is the crucial 10 minutes now for Galway to, to, to weather the storm. At one stage, Galway led Kilkenny by seven points in this final. Pressure on the Kilkenny backs again. Damien Hayes playing it back here as far as Niall Burke. And Niall Burke, with unerring accuracy, puts it right over the bar. And that's a very rapid response up towards TJ Reid. Did a good first half, had some good moments in that. But it's Niall Dunne who got a score in that first half. Poor clearance, under pressure from Owen Larkin. Straight to Richie Hogan. This time trying to set up TJ Reid. They need this to go over, and TJ Reid supplies another one for Kilkenny. One in each half. Moves forward here, being pursued there by Joe Canning. It's still Hogan knocking it out here as far as Aidan Fogarty sets off. David Collins is in hot pursuit. Fogarty hasn't scored so far, but then nobody with the uh, numbers 13, 14 or 15 for Kilkenny has scored so far. And this time, this ball, is it over? There's a bit of a dispute. Richie, It's going to be Henry Shefflin to take it. Now 33 years of age. 
Well, he had just as tough an angle as Joe Canning earlier on, but this time he's got it absolutely after him. So too Michael Fenley still managed to get it away into a two-man inside forward line. And again, this is taken down here by Brian Hogan, having a very good second half, highly influential, up towards Richie power this time, breaks down here, it's Aidan Fogarty, and Fogarty quickly to right, puts it over the bar for his first point in this All-Ireland hurling final. Fascinating contest in the second half. Out it comes to uh, Brian Hogan, once again, starring at centre-half back. Very much the dominant figure in that line at this stage. Beautifully in as far as Henry Shefflin gets away from Hines, and Shefflin strikes it, and Shefflin's the one who puts the team... Two great shooters in action here, Joe Canning and Henry Shefflin. Henry with this monster of a free. Deep inside. James Skehel, now there's a need for a rapid response by Galway. As you've been saying, Michael, only one point to show for the second half so far. And that a score by Niall Burke. And here is Niall Burke, and there is a response. Composes himself before striking it straight between the posts again. Give him any bit of chance whatsoever. For free, yeah. Which uh, Henry Shefflin's going to take. Goalkeeper deemed to lay on the ball. Henry striking. He's put it over the bar. Didn't go for the. Uh, That's a hard. It's hard on Conor Cooney, but a brave call by the management. Back Brian Hogan, Brian what a Hogan. second half he's yeah, had. Yes, super. Up as far as Larkin takes it down and then turns and then in one striking move puts it. Effortlessly over the crossbar, a point in each. 1-6 in the first half, Joe Canning, nothing in the second half so far. The only scores from Niall Burke. And this one is right over. Golden seven. Just, you know, behind, in front and of his half-back and full-back line. Another big one for Joe Canning. Can he land it? The answer is yes! 1-8 for Joe. I mean, and that's Ty Caron. Henry Shefflin striking, and Henry puts it over. An immense performance by him. So far, seven of them in the second half. The team's level at 18 points apiece, or 12 to 18 points. Henry Shefflin striking, and he's put it up high, up into the upper tier of the stand, at the Davin end. He's got a very, very animated, and Anthony Cunningham standing his ground, and look, at, that's what happened in the Ireland finals. This to tie up the All-Ireland final and take it, I imagine, to a replay. Joe Canning with a goal and eight. The pressure of the entire county Galway on his shoulders. He's got it right, he's put it over the bar! A goal and nine for Joe Canning. After the lapses, he had the composure and the confidence to step up and to take it, and surely now to bring the match to a replay. 20... 2-9 to 13 to 19 points, and the referee has blown the whistle. It's all over for the first time since 1959, when Kilkenny drew with...